I want to talk about Moina's and the amazing uh, job that you've done supporting the Special Olympics over the years with the Polar Plunge. Now, I used to do this a long time ago, uh, and I know Moina's was always there. This was like uh, early 2000s or so, um, always with a big production always with some kind of costumes or something. I think the last time, if I can remember correctly, there were instruments involved in some kind of parade as the Moines team marched into the tent before we went into the water. So you guys you guys have done an amazing job here. What, what is the inspiration behind that? Well, my aunt um, was born with Down syndrome and later diagnosed with autism. And those, in those days, they didn't really have the inclusive movement they have now. So it's always been kind of a soft spot for us to try to support people with disabilities to be included. And you guys, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you are in the Special Olympics Hall of Fame. Is that right? That is correct. We got inducted in 2010. At that time, we had raised over $100,000 for Special oh. Olympics. Oh, my gosh. That is, that's, that's fantastic. That's great. Yeah, we're really proud of it. My dad got to see it, and he was oh, so excited. Um, my brother started plunging 22 years ago, and we just collect our customers and friends, and, you know, we're always looking to field the team. If anyone's interested, there's still time to sign up. Well, that it's is it still over in Nantasket, right? Yep, it's uh, at Nantas Nantasket Beach and Hall, yeah? I'll tell you those. The I've I did it four times, and I'm telling you, it's a great cause. And if people want to go to Nantasket and support uh, all the teams, and maybe make a donation while you're down there, that would be great. Uh, but I'll tell you, if you're a participant, I dreaded it every time because it is painful hitting that water when it's something like what 38 degrees or something like that. <laughs> Yes, it is painful. Even when the air happens to be mild, which has only happened, I think, once in the 16 years I've been plunging, the water is still frigid. My favorite year was one of our bartenders came out of the water and his beard instantly froze. I have pictures. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it does get that cold. I mean, it's, it's absolutely freezing. And I'm sure you're thinking, well, why couldn't uh, we have done this yesterday when it was like 70 degrees? and not uh, tomorrow when it's actually going to be the the, uh, the end of a blizzard, right? <laughs> yeah, they'll have to clear a path to the water through the snow for us, but we're up for it. Well, it's a, it's a great event for a great cause. And is there a, a website people can go to to either uh, still uh, donate to your team or donate to the Special Olympics? Absolutely. It's polarplungema.org. And if you want to donate to our team, you can just search Moynas, M-O-Y-N-A-G-H-S, or you could just donate to the cause because it is amazing. Yeah, it is a great cause, and uh, and a lot of people get involved in this. What's amazing is there's a lot of like big, gigantic companies that support this, which is great, and they get in there, but it seems like you know Moynas, this little tavern in Worcester, always raises the most money, which is fantastic. Yeah, our goal this year was I think thirty six, but I'm hoping for forty. We have a few more a few more days to go of fundraising, so please every little bit help. Well that's great, Maureen. Uh before I let you go, I gotta I gotta ask so Moina's is the oldest tavern in Worcester, is that correct? I believe there's some debate. So my grandfather opened it in nineteen thirty five and we've had the same liquor license. So that makes us the oldest established bar. Buildings have been open longer, but we've had the same owners. Okay, because I was wondering about Ralph's over there on Shrewsbury Street. I think they also claim to be the oldest or longest. Right. Running uh, yeah. Yep, I'm not sure, but I know we have the oldest liquor license, I believe, in the whole state. So that's wow. big news. That's <laughs> awesome. And what about the rumor that the bar was built from a bowling alley Babe Ruth had in his home? In Sudbury? Um, I believe the bowling alley was in the building, and they built. we built the bar and the tables with it. Oh, okay. So the actual bar itself and tables were built from the bowling alley that he bowled on. Okay. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's fun. It's a fun fact. <laughs> yeah. It's a, well, it's a fun place. So if you, if you haven't been to Moines yet, you got to go down there, experience 
Moynes, get yourself a nice uh, cold pint and and uh, maybe a shot of something. And if you're going to a show at the DCU Center or the Palladium, it's a great stop beforehand. So, uh, well, thank you. We love it. Our goal is to make everyone feel welcome. Well, you've definitely made me feel welcome over the years, and I appreciate that. <laughs> so, thank you very well, much. Well, thanks. Well, Maureen uh, Kenaway, thank you very much. Thank you for all you do for the Special Olympics. And, and Moines is involved in, in other causes, too. Uh, you, you guys always have been supportive of causes and local causes. So it's great to see a local business getting involved and doing so well. So thank you for your time, and good luck in the plunge tomorrow. Thank you so much.